Boom! Murals on trucks and semi-trailers. Truck graffiti or brilliant marketing idea. Trucks of all sizes, cars, and buses have presented marketers with opportunities to advertise companies' goods and services since these vehicles were invented. In this episode of Toy Talk, I want to show you some really amazing truck advertising murals and company logos. For trucks ranging from small service vehicles all the way up to semi-tractor trailers. I enjoyed putting this video together for you and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. So let's get started with pickup trucks, cargo trailers, and cargo vans. I'll get to bigger trucks later on. Talk about a great way here to advertise your advertising business. Wrap your own pickup. Fierce wraps, wraps, lettering, and graphics. Bryant's heating and cooling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny pulling into your driveway? He's here to fix your air conditioner. That looks just great. Man in a cowboy hat with his tool belt. <laughs> Hope the driver actually dresses that way, don't you? How about a cargo trailer for Spartan Lawn and Landscape? If my landscaper pulled up in that, I think I'd be like, hmm, are you going to do that for me? Great advertising. Showing off some of the guy's work. Wonder if it's actually his work. But what a way. This is what your lawn can look like, and this trailer brings it to you. Another landscaper here. Personally, this is more my style for landscaping. Lots of trees some splashes of color and a dirt path. I love being out in the country and this guy's kind of work, that's what I'd like to see. But look, creative landscapes. Can you really show off landscaping business any better than that? The cool experts. Yup, a polar bear. Isn't that perfect for a heating and air conditioning company? Put a polar bear riding on your van. That way we can just see that frosty cold air coming out of our air conditioner. I could go for that. Las Vegas air conditioning. Do you guys think that that guy looks very much like he belongs in Las Vegas? It's a cool rap, but I don't know that the guy really fits with the setting. I think a nice big desert or maybe some type of a casino would have been really cool for Las Vegas air. But what do I know? It must be working for him. Styles heating and cooling. Fast response when you need us. I guess that's why the girl is in the uh, crouched running launch position. I wonder, is their service as good as that girl is looking? Well done construction. <laughs> you know, I think that's one of the better names for a construction company. After all, I'd want my house to be well done. But look at, just look, that must be his work. At least I hope that's his work in that wrap. I don't know. Stone work on the side of a vehicle? Looks kind of silly. Masonry, roofing, that eh, makes sense, the stone work, but doesn't stone just look silly on the side of a pickup? A brief history now. Until the age of the automobile, Train companies were the largest industry to paint company names and logos for distinction on their locomotives and rail cars. Moving forward from paint and cardboard to the first attempts at using the plastic in commercial advertising applications. The plastic had limited success, but ultimately it failed as a result of the plastic being too fragile. 1926 Waldo Simon invented the vinyl that's still used today by introducing additives to the PVC that made it flexible and easier to process. I'll get back to the history in a minute, but I think it's time to talk about box trucks and illuminated rolling billboards. Another pretty big user of wraps are little city delivery straight trucks. Generally, these will be owned by some company and then that that makes it much easier to go on and advertise 
like this one, Pacific Coast Termite Inc. All they're doing is taking care of their termite treatments and stuff. So wrapping their advertising on the truck, what a great idea. And one of the most popular little straight trucks you find is a rental actually here, U-Haul. A while back, they went and started putting these adventure series, paint jobs, advertising and promoting tourism and moving to new places by showing off some of the neat things. Like this, check it out, Florida. Man, U-Haul was really on it. But, not to be undone, <laughs> check this out. They went on and look at, they took the wrap and not just put it on the side, they put it on the back. How'd you like to come up behind that running up and down the road? where the wrap makes it look like the door is halfway open and their stuff's about to fall out. And then they did this one to show off their self-storage. The same idea, only instead of making it look like the back door of the trailer, they made it look like their self-storage unit. And then there's all your stuff stacked up in your storage unit and the truck running down the road. And before they got all that fancy, they did this. They just put advertising what U-Haul is on the back of the truck. And how you can get it and what what you need family moving get help great idea i mean u-haul really did marketing with these vehicles so awesome and how about that a u-haul for hawaii of course i doubt it's got a hawaiian license plate and it's probably not in hawaii but it's advertising hawaii something fairly new has popped up in urban areas and not sure it's such a great idea for congested roads. But it's lighted panels on box trucks displaying ads, or even better, LED full motion panels showing video ads going up and down the highways and city streets. And this is something from Vegas. I remember visiting Vegas and seeing these on the road and I thought this was a pretty cool idea. They went so far as taking straight trucks, putting generators in them, and putting either LED panels or just uh, translucent panels so that they could put light behind them and make them shine at night. What do you know? Inferno, the fire spectacular. Same truck for another show. Well, nope, same show again. But look at that, just how vibrant and bright it is. Wouldn't that be awesome running down the road? I know Vegas has some cool advertising laws, so that's how they get away with this. But, wow, I'd also say that looks a little distracting to drivers. And another one. Jaw-dropping, same show, Inver Inferno Show. A great big magic trick at Paris, Las Vegas. And then here is a different truck, and this one's actually got the LED panels for sure. You can see them right there. Advertising for Red Bull. <sighs> Talk about really, really distracting to drivers on the road. I can understand why municipalities have pretty much banned this practice. I don't really think it's such a great idea. But here we go. What do you think of this idea on our city streets? Let me know down in the comments. The world's first total bus wrap was produced in 1991 by... Contravision in New Zealand for the Pan Pacific Hotel. The bus was converted into a mobile billboard, which still allowed the passengers inside it to see out. Huge full vinyl wraps began in Germany in 1993, when the vinyl manufacturer K Premium Marketing Films was asked to produce a film to be used in place of paint for the purpose of converting regular old cars into taxis. The Europeans adopted murals for their semi-trailers and check these out. You've heard of the Mars King size candy bars. How about a Mars truck size? Just think, unwrap that. I mean, look at it, it's just bulging right out of the sides. What is Pepsi thinking? Don't they know you're supposed to stack from the bottom up? not from the top down. Be careful there, driver. Don't bust the neck of that bottle off as you drive by. Hot and spicy, all right. Look at that. Burned up the entire inside of the trailer. Okay, which way are they going? Or why is this guy driving down the road backwards? Hello, Pepsi. 
You know, your can has to be smaller than the container you put it in, or this is what happens. Jeez. I hope that driver's really not driving down the road this way. Or, he better have a Tesla with the autopilot on it. Go McDonald's. What a brilliant idea. I've seen lots of ways to carry cows, but I don't think I've ever seen one where they just put some wood fence up along the side of the truck and let the cows stick their heads over it. And, I guess you're going to get a fresh milkshake this way. Have a break, Kit Kat. I'll say that that truck's having a break. The side's been broken out and the Kit Kat's bulging out. Be careful passing. You might get a nice big chocolate stain down the side of your trailer. Now, here we go. That is the size a stick of chewing gum should be. Thanks, Wrigley's. I suppose this is supposed to build confidence in the way our nuclear material is handled and transported. Poor King Kong, he lost his arm. But old Fay Ray, he still wouldn't let go. A rolling aquarium. There's a real brilliant idea, isn't it? Watch out passing this guy. That strap might reach out and grab your exhaust stack. Do you need to borrow a book? Talk about a rolling library. Or is this the new definition of a bookmobile? And just wow. I don't even know what to say. You pass that, you're going to hit a cop. I can't imagine that being very good. But then again, how good a driver is he to have driven into a brick wall? Enter the digital age. The world's first digitally printed vehicle wrap is thought to have been created for PepsiCo in 1993, which used a vinyl wrap to wrap a bus promoting its Crystal Pepsi product. It wasn't long before bus wrap advertising was everywhere, and the new form of vehicle graphics trickled down to smaller businesses and consumers. But enough history. Let's move on and look at some American trucks with mural trailer wraps. Red gold, ketchup with a cause. What a beautiful mural. Red gold runs one, some of the best looking trucks in America. And don't you just want to reach out, grab that bottle and give it a squeeze? Aldi. Now they're a new one to the U.S., relatively new company over here and their trucks they just show off all those fresh veggies and make you just want to reach out and grab a tomato or a green bean it proves food service really is where the wraps are on the trailers over here in america you know trucking coors beer east of texas is bootlegging this here's kentucky what's he doing here how about this a mural to make a box truck look like a flatbed. And man, wouldn't you love to grow tomatoes that big that you need to ratchet straps to hold them down to a flatbed? Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. If you ever seen one of these trucks, man, are the graphics outstanding. Just look at the depth. You could walk right down by all those barrels, but I wouldn't try it. Somebody better pin that horse up a little better. I don't think that stock wire Rural King put out is good enough to hold him in place. Just don't look like it's really tall enough to help keep him there. Who'd have thought they'd build an entire kitchen inside a trailer? Good job, Welburn Forest Products. Fine kitchen cabinetry delivered as a real module kitchen. And red gold. Isn't that cool? Entire bunch of kids all playing, standing up on top of tomatoes. I'd love to grow tomatoes that big. There's one industry out there that has really adopted the wraps, and that's the entertainment trucking industry. You've got Taylor Swift here. All five of her tours, she had the trailers wrapped with beautiful graphics. They took and spared no expense promoting the tours for her. They ran them for all five tours. Fearless, Speak Now, Red, 1989, and Reputation. And they made amazing graphics for all of these tours. For more information on the entertainment industry wraps, see my video on upstaging, lighting and transport, and Taylor Swift's Reputation Tour and the trucks that moved it. There's a link to it down in the description below. Another one. 
This wasn't even a tour, but they kept moving the equipment, and that was for Shania Twain while she was out in Las Vegas. Weren't these vehicle wraps amazing? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Advertising using mobile billboards of all sizes and kinds are a great way to get companies' messages about their products in front of the public. Do you have any mural trailers in your collection? Let me know which ones. Remember guys, it takes a lot to keep this channel going. So please sponsor me on Patreon. Make a purchase on any of my websites that are linked down below. Smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.